Hey guys, in these first few lessons, I'm gonna show you how to manually adjust your music. So I'm going to show you how to manually manipulate your songs in order to speed them up and slow them down. Now these manual adjustments are super important to beat matching because it will help you get your songs lined up super quick and also be able to adjust them when they get off. And then as you're lining them up with these manual adjustments, then you're gonna be locking it in with your tempo fader in order to lock that speed in and then it'll ride at that speed. But first I'm gonna show you how to manually adjust the jog wheels in order to adjust the music. And in this first video, we're going to do the manual speed up method. Now, jog wheels are a little bit different than turntables. So if you're coming from turntables, uh, there's a certain way that you touch the record and stuff like that. In this case, if you're working with CDJs or a controller, it's literally just a wheel. Whereas a turntable has a record and then a platter underneath and you're adjusting the platter underneath while the record is spinning independently. With this, we don't have to deal with that. However, a lot of controllers have a scratch button feature or something like this scratch button feature uh, where it takes the jog wheel from scratch mode to non-scratch mode. Uh, so in this case, the scratch button is right here. So just to give you an example, I have the song right here. So if scratch is set to on, I can touch the top of the jog wheel and it will stop the audio. And then, you know, I can either scratch it or uh, forward, rewind it really quick, you know, stuff like that. We covered that in the previous video with the Newmark NV, but just as a reminder, in case you haven't seen that video. Now, if you want to be able to touch the top and it not stop the audio like this, then you will have to turn the scratch setting off. And in this case, I'm touching it, right? And it's not stopping it, but it is speeding it up and slowing it down, okay? So depending on what you wanna do, if you wanna have uh, the scratch option turned on, you will then have to do your manual adjustments on the side of the wheel, okay? So I'll do, I'll do it both ways so you can see uh, with this technique. Uh, so first, let me get it back to the beginning. Now with this track, I have a cue point set right at the beginning, just so I can jump right there. And I showed you how to do cue points in previous lessons, in previous courses. Uh, but yeah, that's an easy way to just jump to where you wanna be. So right here, I have my cue point set up and I have it on scratch mode. And in order to speed up the track without forwarding it like really fast, you wanna touch the outer rim of the jog wheel and just rotate it. So I just put my finger on it just like this and I'm just turning the jog wheel just like this. And the faster you do it, the faster it speeds up. And the slower you do it, the slower it speeds up. Now I'm gonna take off key lock. Right now we have key lock set, but I'm gonna take key lock off. And remember, if you remember from a previous course, key lock locks the key. So if you speed it up with the tempo fader or slow it down, the tone of the song is gonna stay the same. It's not gonna sound higher pitched or lower pitched, but I'm gonna take key lock, key lock off just so you can actually hear the adjustments and hear it speeding up, not only in speed, but also in pitch, in tone, in, in the key. So all you gotta do with this controller is hit shift and hit that button right there. And now key lock is off. So if I press play and I speed it up, you hear that got higher pitched and lower pitched, right? So we're gonna do that method right here and we're just going to speed it up. Right? Now you remember, you don't wanna touch the top because that's just gonna forward it. You can hear the faster I do it, it's getting higher pitched and the slower I do it, you don't hear it as much, right? So just work on getting a really steady motion. You can also just do it a little bit. Like if you're just trying to make a quick adjustment or maybe you don't need a continuous manual adjustment like this. You can also just practice this. And every controller is different. Every CDJ for that matter is different. Anything with a jog wheel is different. So you just gotta kind of get used to the feeling of your jog wheels on your equipment, right? Uh, and the way you do that is just to practice. So just practice speeding it up. Super easy, not hard. Now, if you wanna do it without the scratch option, then you can touch the top. And this is actually more like a turntable in that 
With the turntable, you're touching the label of the record and pressing down to speed it up. So you might want to turn scratch off if you're familiar with this feature on turntables, if you just like to touch the top for whatever reason. Uh, and this is how you do it. Same. It's not rocket science, people. It's really easy. You're just speeding it up. So just practice, you know, different uh, frequencies of speeding it up and slowing it down, whether you're doing it with the top or the rim. You know, if I take scratch off and just do this. Just don't go, you know, like that, because that, it's like too much of a jump, right? Right, it might skip it. Just be slow and steady, or fast and steady, okay? So, that was a little hip hop, like broken beat track. You've heard me use in a lot of my lessons. Uh, it's a track I produced, um, so I like to teach with this uh, because it has uh, different segments in it that um, is useful for teaching. So we use that, we got a broken beat track, like a hip hop track, so now let's do it with a house track. So here we go, same thing, scratch is on. I'm gonna turn key lock off, just so you can hear it. You hear it getting higher pitch. So that was like really fast, it skipped, so you gotta be careful. And oh, also, that might have been, I might have leaned on the platter just then, which caused it because it's on scratch. So you hear that? If you lean on it, it might skip it, just like that. So you gotta be careful. If you have scratch mode on, make sure you are on that outside. And taking it off. So yeah, but when you're mixing, especially if you're using a controller, unless you're doing some sort of trick where you want to hear the pitch speed up or the tone of the track speed up um, and get uh, higher pitched, um, use key lock because it sounds better. And it also makes your mixes uh, when you're actually mixing more seamless because when you are using these manual adjustments, um, no matter what equipment you're on, uh, you can hear it more when the key lock's not on like you just saw. So it's actually better and more seamless for your mixing if you keep key lock on, so it's more invisible. So that is the manual speed up method. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.